Many people who have made their way to the top of the dive industry started their careers in retail sport diving stores to gain experience and knowledge. Jim Smith is the owner of Ventura Dive and Sport, located in Ventura, California. They have one of the most complete dive operations in the country. Yeah, it's an interesting story how I got involved in diving. When I was a young man in the, uh, the late 60s growing up in South Dakota, both of my older brothers actually took diving classes and did some diving in the local lakes. Uh, I was too young, unfortunately, so I would make the trek over with them to their lake dives and, and wander around in the dive center and admire the knives and the masks and snorkels, and I just really, really was interested in this. And they were nice enough, thoughtful enough, that they would leave extra air in the scuba tanks at the end of their dives. And when we got home, I was allowed to, under their supervision, actually go into our backyard swimming pool, put the gear on, it was way too big, but I got it on and went down to the bottom of the pool and I'd take that regulator and I would sip that air. I would make it last as long as possible because I was thrilled every minute that I was underwater. After I graduated from college, I went to Iowa State University. I took a job teaching high school at a local high school in northeastern Iowa. After about three or four years of that, looking back on the winters, if you know anything about winters in Iowa, I think you'll understand why I maybe started to look around for another potential line of work. And scuba diving, skiing, skiing still cold. So I said, well, let's take a look at this scuba diving. I made a couple of uh, phone calls to some different schools out in California, found one that was particularly appealing, the NASDS Instructors College in San Diego. And so at the end of the term, I packed up my Jeep, all my belongings, and moved out to California and pursued my uh, livelihood as a scuba instructor. My first job in the dive industry was a scuba instructor. There was a store called Water Pro up in San Luis Obispo, California, that had an opening when I graduated from the Instructors College in San Diego. So I contacted them, arranged an interview, and was hired, and I began uh, the very next week. I actually worked at three different dive centers in my career as a scuba instructor. And I knew when I hit the third uh, dive center that I worked for that I was subconsciously collecting information in terms of what policies, what procedures, what style was working at the various dive centers that I had been employed at. And I guess from the beginning, my goal was to create a, a hybrid dive center, taking all of the good quality aspects of the three different businesses that I worked in and uh, combining them and creating my own dive center. In terms of some of the challenges or struggles or hurdles that I've encountered in, in, uh, over the years in being a dive center owner, probably the largest initial challenge was having to be the jack of all trades, the guy that did everything from filling the tanks to cleaning the rental equipment to doing the repairs to taking people to the beach and out on the boat diving is very overwhelming when you don't have a staff to support you. And so as things progressed and, and the business started to succeed and I was able to hire initially one additional person to work with me, that was a tremendous asset to the business. And as we continued to succeed, we were able to hire more people to the point now where we have about 12 instructors and five full-time people working at the dive center. Ventura Dive and Sport is a multifaceted, full-service dive center. We have, uh, of course, all levels of instruction from the beginning open water classes all the way up to instructor, our master instructor. We also have a very uh, well-equipped, well-stocked uh, showroom for the retail side of the business, carrying all the top lines of gear, a very knowledgeable, courteous staff that enjoys engaging uh, with our customers. We have our own on-site uh, charter dive boat, the Raptor, parked 50 yards in front of the dive center or less, so that's extremely convenient. We have the on-site pool. So that besides the classes and the retail side and the, and the charter side of the business, we also have the support mechanisms. We have a, a very well-stocked repair department that we can handle virtually any type of dive gear. We also have a, a nice rental department with premium packages, dry suits, computers, 
And um, perhaps my favorite part of the, the Ventura Diving Sports business would be organizing all the trips and travel that we do to international locations. You know, there's really nothing in particular that I dread about being in this business. I talk to people virtually every day who have jobs that they dread. They don't like going back to work. They look forward to just the weekend, some time off, time away. And, and I never find myself saying when I wake up in the morning, you know, I really don't want to go to work because it, it sounds funny, but every aspect of this business is enjoyable and it's exciting and you never know what the future is going to hold. So I've never once had any reservation about staying in this industry. Some of the most appealing parts of being a dive center owner are the opportunities to interact with people that have very similar interests. Let's face it, when someone walks into a dive center and they're interested in learning how to dive, that's a pleasant thing. It's not like you're going to the doctor or the dentist to get something fixed. You're coming in, you're excited about this activity you're about to engage in. So the fact that we have the opportunity to, to enlighten these people, tell them about the dive classes, teach them to dive, help them select their diving equipment, help them get through their training, and then the aspects of, I've mentioned a couple of times, of travel. It's just an open book. It's a, a blank canvas and you can do with it what you like.